If you're a Walsall tenant looking for a three bedroom house in the Darlston area of Walsall, we've got Junction 9, which is just around the corner from here. Schools for all ages here. This area is called Darlston. I'll just take you around to a fully refurbished property, uh, been freshly painted, uh, carpeted, uh, new flooring. You'll see it all the way through as I take you around to this walkthrough video tour. So if you're ready to do this video tour with me, please follow me. Okay, so this is the outside of the house, double glazed, centrally heated, um, it's an end of terrace next to a caravan shop, so if you're in the market for a caravan shop, convenient place right next to you to buy. Um, if you come across, I'll take you in. So you come straight into the front living room, front reception, just close the door, get rid of the road noise. Lovely bay window. We've um, added some fresh blinds throughout the house as well. The lovely character that you see around the, the, the property, you've got the ceiling roses and stuff, the um, characterful property, high ceilings, really spacious, a good feel for this property. Uh, we've got new carpets downstairs as well. And upstairs you'll see there's laminate flooring. So we'll go into the living room second living room from here. Just before we do, there is a cellar through this door. It's a usable cellar, so you can store um, your you know, um, items and, and goods in there as well. So this is like a little cloak roomish area. I'd probably put some hats and coats, shoes and stuff along here. And then into your second living room, you can call it your dining room or um, lounge, whatever you like, or you can turn the other one into a dining room and this one the lounge. I've seen people do do both kind of um, depends on your preference really um, the aerials kind of coming out here so you'd probably put the uh, TV and stuff over here sofa over there or uh, previous tenants actually put the TV over here they had a cabinet on this wall um, over here and they put the TV over here uh, yeah so you've got a couple of choices where you'd like to place things Again, lovely character of the, of, of the property. You can see it throughout the seeding roses, the covings, high ceilings, really nice and spacious. I know it's, we're kind of not right next to the road, but when you come in, you can't really tell much of the road noise. So I'll take you through to the kitchen. Your typical kind of 1900 property, your galley type kitchen. This is a really good space over here. Um, so initially, you know, you don't come directly into a, a space where you're kind of rubbing shoulders with other people. You've got your own space. Um, fully fitted. You've got a range of base units, wall units. Um, you have your cooker point over here. It's got the hood there, so uh, there's a gas point for the cooker. So it's a gas cooker point. And you've got over here, you've got uh, the washing machine point would be down here. You've got your combination boiler here. So it's all um, gas fired central heating. And then through here is your bathroom. I'll let the camera person go in with uh, the camera to show you around. So you've got your wash hand basin, your uh, full bath. And then you can turn into the corner where there is the uh, shower cubicle opposite the toilet is the shower cubicle. Just move this out of the way with an electric shower there. Okay, so that's your bathroom. I'll show you a quick tour of the garden. A good size for a family with a couple of children. Um, this is, you've got your kind of en entrance exit out and then this garden is shared. So your boundary is actually going, um, right along here as I'm walking along, your kind of your boundaries along here. Uh, this is obviously weed needs weeding at the moment. It'll get de-weeded before the next tenants move in, but it's a good usable space. All 
secluded and, and private. And from here you can see the back end of the house. So, yeah. Cool. If you want to follow me in, I'll take you upstairs. Watch your step. So the stairs I forgot to mention, which goes off your second living room, this door here leads you upstairs. Because if you come and just stand up over here, this way, this way, turn around and just show the, uh, the kind of uh, the hallway, the landing. Uh, you've got bedrooms and additional WC going off there, which we'll go to in a second. But as you come up the stairs, you turn right into the, what we would call the main, main kind of bedroom. So facing the front aspect, again, the main road is, is right there, but you can tell that, you know, there's very little road noise. Um, good space, a double bedroom. Again, high ceilings. Uh, you've got electric points in this corner over here, that corner over there. There's a little storeroom, cupboard, storeroom, whatever you want to use it for, some additional storage. So you've got additionally, you've got the cellar downstairs. You've got uh, a cupboard over here. I'm not sure what the loft space where that goes off. Uh, but yeah, if you follow me into the second bedroom, this is again a really good space, a good sized double bedroom. Um, again, you've got electric points on double sockets on two different walls here, two double sockets, blinds. So it's just ready to move in. It's been fully decorated, fully painted. Um, everything's been taken care of. All you need to do is dump your furniture and you're off, to, you're ready to go. Okay, so if you follow me, I'll show you. This is a bonus here with an added toilet that's been installed by the owners. Okay, there is a wash and basin just behind the door as well, but um, obviously the camera person's got a bit of a uh, twirling to do when they go inside. So uh, this is the smallest of the three bedrooms. But again, you know, it's a good, good space. You know, if you look, you know, that's, it's not a box room. It's a, it's a good space and in both ways, you can comfortably get a nice single bed, maybe over here, cupboards and dressing table and stuff, uh, wardrobe and dressing table on that side. So, so that's it, that's uh, the video tour of the property three bedroom house on Darleston Road. Um, if this is something that you would like to take further to an application, you'll um, see all the links in the description, full photos, uh, EPC information, council tax information, everything will be on our website. Uh, if you are interested in taking it further, please get in touch. Do subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're putting all our property video tours on our channel first. So anybody that's um, subscribed to our channel gets first dibs before the property goes to the fully, fully to the open market. So all being well, please give us a call, email us, inquire with us, and we'll take you forward to an application. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.